What's up guys, I'll wheel DSM here. Uh, today, we're gonna be working on the DSM. Um, we're just gonna do a little inspection, sorry, on jack stands. Steering has been uh, a little bit sloppy. Not steering really, it's suspension. So, uh, I'm fearing it ate through another set of ball joints. Probably gonna have to get new control arms and all that. So, uh, let's get out there and see. It's already on stand, so. Let's inspect it. All right, so here's the driver's side. Um. These ball joints are done for. Get a better view. I know they look okay, but, but they're not. Trust me. This car eats through ball joints like nothing. So um, let's check the passenger. Oh yeah, it's it's done. They're done. That all dry rod and whatnot. All right, so um, I'm gonna start taking those off. Uh, it's really easy to get these control arms off. It's a uh, seven eighths inch nut on them. Uh, actually, let's check the top first. Eh. I mean, it's not in terrible condition, but it, if I'm replacing the bottom ones, might as well replace the top ones too. So, uh, it's 7 eighths inch nut going through it, and then uh, 17 millimeter holding it in on both the lateral and the compression, and the ball joint nut on the top one. I don't know what you would call that one. I think that's just upper. That is a 17, and then 14 millimeter bolts holding, no, no, three quarter inch, something like that, something like that up top. So, uh, let's get to it.
ดีSo driver's side is completely done. We don't need to touch the Tokikos or the axles because the axles are brand new. Well, about four, not even 4,000, like 2,000 miles on them. Still have the grease. Uh, tie rods are new. I don't know, sway bar end links are brand new. Uh, we do need sway bar bushings though, but I'm gonna get some prothanes. Uh, I might actually get a thicker sway bar. I don't know yet. I'm not sure what size this is. Maybe 17, 18 millimeter. I know they make like 21, 22 millimeters, but uh, see, this saw comes out relatively easy. I kind of want to undercoat it just for the fun of it. But uh, we'll see. Let's get on to the passenger. We got everything torn down in the front. I didn't film the passenger side because uh, that was last night and it, it's just, it's the same stuff over and over. So uh, I still need to pull the sway bar through. You gotta maneuver it around the subframe and the transfer case and the exhaust and all that. It's not fun, but uh, this is all good now. Um, everything off, real simple. It's, it's really easy to take it off if you have the right tools. It shouldn't take you more than like two hours. But, um, let's go to the passenger side. Yep, same, same looking deal over here. Empty. But yeah, like I was saying, uh, tie rods are brand new. Um, the sway bar end links are brand new. Axles are pretty new. Uh, the calipers are pretty pretty new as well. I should get new pads. I think I'm going to get new rotors. These look good though. But uh, I don't know. I just feel like it's time. Wheel bearing. It's all brand new. In there. Um, I do need to repaint the knuckle though. Come on, focus. There you go. And um, I'm thinking about undercoating the wheels well the wheel wells better because uh, last time I did it I don't know kind of did skimpy job I want to convert to uh, stainless steel braided brake lines I do want to get new uh, subframe bushings probably prothanes uh, prothane sway bar mounts or inserts whatever you want to call them but um I kind of want to rebuild the drive shaft too just because I know it's time but, uh, let's take a look and see these. Oh my god. That doesn't even want to move. That's how bad these are. Oh my fucking god. Yeah, that that's done for. Um, this one, see, the boot just completely ripped off. It still has grease in it, though. So, uh, it moves pretty freely. I don't, I don't really want to get dirty, but see but it's still it's really notchy actually so now this one ooh, same as the upper but this one kind of moves Ugh. still bad look at this sight it's a sad sight completely torn down front suspension let's take a look over here um start with the uh compression arm This one's better. It's not good though. This one's all loose. So that probably means it was going out. Upper. Same as passenger. 
Ugh. Nope, you can move this one. Still not good though. I'm probably just gonna get some Moogs. I don't even know what brand those are. I'll tell you the truth. They're not OEM, I can tell you that. But, yeah. I think that's gonna do it for the video today, guys. Um, there's not much else I can do. Just gotta wait for parts. Uh, sadly, to some of you, the DSM does take priority for me. So, before we do any more work on the Starion, I'm gonna get this all situated. But, uh, you never know. I might be able to swing both of them just for content. But yeah, that's gonna do it for the video today, guys. Thanks for watching, and you guys have a good day.